All right, folks, we got this little garden scooter here, and uh, we really like it. It's great. It's, it makes things easy on the back instead of stooping over all the time. Uh, you just sit down on this, get you low to the ground, and uh, we really love it. But the, it came with the with, uh, tube tires, and uh, they're constantly going flat. You got to pump them up, uh, and because they're flat a lot, uh, they're starting to dry rot. So we got a pile of uh, run flat or no flat tires over there. Uh, that we're going to put on here. That way we don't have to keep worrying about not being able to use this this great little scooter uh, because the tires are always flat. Uh, now to do this I'm going to need a half inch socket or a half inch wrench and uh, in my case I've got one of these little adapter thingies which is a 3 8 drive so that my half inch socket will fit on there and uh, and then I can put that in my drill driver make taking these bolts off really quick. All right, so as you can see, instead of a, a lot of these things have a cotter pin, but this actually has a nut uh, on this threaded um, I thought that was half inch. It may be a, nope, there we go. All right, so as you can tell, half inch wrench, and uh, I just realized this is on the axle, and so I'm gonna have to put a half inch wrench on the other side uh, to keep this from turning because as I'm turning this the corresponding piece on the opposite wheel is turning so I need a way to hold that and before I go too far I'm going to use my half inch wrench on the other side and my socket on this side and see if I can get this broke loose and there we go so actually what happened was the the nut on the other side came off you can see I got the washers for that so you can see what happened is this end came loose. But now that I got this off, I'll grab this with some uh, some uh, vice grips and uh, be able to take this other end off. And then when I put them on and tighten them, they'll be just fine. All right, now I got my vice grips here and this metal here looks like it's fairly soft. And so I'm gonna put my, my sock on top of this and then clamp down. That'll keep the teeth on this from marring this up a whole lot. Because uh, if I if I leave burrs in it, then the axle may not rotate as well. So now they got that on there. We're gonna see if we can get this side here off. And there we go. Now I said this was a half inch. It's actually I think a 13 millimeter uh, is a better size, but uh, the half inch will work. So now that we got that off. Put our wheel on here and we're going to discover this is not the right size wheel. So this is a wheel we've used on all our other little garden carts but uh, we're going to need to order a different wheel for this one. Alright so we had a heck of a time trying to find the right size wheel for this. Remember these are not the axles with the uh, cotter pin. And a uh, typical size of these axles is 5 eighths of an inch, like for the, the metal utility carts and stuff. This is a half inch axle. So uh, we were trying to find a 10 inch tire with a half inch axle, and it was about impossible. Uh, we were able to find some, but they all had tubes. They all had air tubes in them, which is what we're trying to avoid. So we did find a half inch axle with an 8 inch tire. Um, it's a little skinnier uh, than what we were looking for. Um, and it's a little shorter, obviously, but we were okay with the shorter because that just means that the buggy is a little closer to the ground when we're trying to get closer to the ground anyway. So I think the 8 inch tire is going to work out fine. Um, and it's just not going to be quite as, as bouncy maybe as this air tire. But again, these aren't very bouncy when they're flat and they're flat all the time. And, uh, it's hard to use this cart when the wheels are flat so that's what we're going with again on these you need a half inch um, diameter on these axles um, that's the key thing and most most of them you're going to find are five eighths but we'll put the link below for the ones that are half inch all right so i've got me a piece of pipe and the size of this is such that it will fit over the axle and then uh I just need to put a big washer on here that's bigger than the diameter of this pipe uh, to hold that on and that will act as a spacer for these wheels and keep them from 
wobbling and drifting back and forth. So we're going to measure this width right here and uh, cut the pipe to the same the uh, same length and then uh, put that on there. All right, so on these front wheels that steer, um, you know, I've got a set distance here. So it's easy to put the wheel on there and measure it. On these back, on this back axle, uh, this this is just one rod and it goes back and forth. So we're gonna put we're gonna put the wheels on and measure those just to make sure that uh, it's the same length. And actually, what I'll probably do, so I think it'll be easier, is I'm gonna push this axle in until it is even right there should be good enough and then push this wheel on and then I'm gonna measure this distance but I'm gonna cut it in half that way I can make sure that uh, this this axle ends up being evenly spaced so that should be my total length that I need a, a spacer for and then I'll just divide it in half. All right, so you can see I got some uh, sharp edges on here, so I'm going to take these over to the grinder and grind those off real quick. All right, so we got our uh, spacers here made. We got a uh, original hardware here, and then I got some body washers, what I call body washers, um, for these for the axle ends. And so the reason we're going to need these, these are got an inside hole that does not fit over the axle. So uh, we we're going to put our our spacer on, and then this is going to hold it. Um, I'll take up this extra slack with the other washers, uh, the original hardware, and uh, and then this this nut with the nylon insert for retaining it will fit over the end, and we'll hold this on. Put a couple of these spacer washers on. And then we'll put our uh, spacer on here. Throw another washer on here because I think we got we got some room to make up, and then yeah, actually probably take that spacer out. That looks about right, and then we'll put that on, and then our retaining nut. And we'll tighten that up. All right, that should work good. All right, so again, this axle moves. So uh, we'll just start off with some spacer washers there, our uh, spacer, and then we'll toss our wheel on and our retaining nut and then whatever slack we have we'll make up on the other end and don't forget we got to hold the other end of the axle with a pair of vice grips to keep it from spinning all right i think that looks pretty good there all right so there we go all four wheels on our little uh, garden buggy had to go test it out Uh, you're not going towards the garden. 